asking me where to find an apartment, a place to live and I thought I would make a separate video about this. Um, so I will just show you my screen without my face this time. Although in the end I will show you an apartment that I actually eventually moved in. So I thought I would just show you. So here's a website, it's called Tower Budapest. Uh, this is the website where I found my current apartment where I currently live. Um, as you can see, I just changed the language to English. So they are like a third party um, website that help you find apartments. It's usually people who own apartments, of course in Budapest, they don't have to be uh, locals, they can be foreigners, but they just rent it out. So as you can see, you have options for rooms, you have options for regular apartments, for studios. Um, you can do a little bit of a detailed search. You can search by the city street map price. So what I usually do, I do it by price because of course, you know, like if you know approximately what price do you want. So you can see here, there are different price ranges. So here, for example, uh, you have a room and this is just a room. It's out for rent. It tells you what is the size of the room, what district it is in. Uh, then of course there's a person who you can directly call or contact and then talk to them about it. Uh, they usually put the price right away with common cost and utilities. This cost is usually here without a common cost, so like add to those 80,015 and you get 95, so it's a little more than 200 euros. So you can find a room anywhere starting from I think 200, 300. Uh, depending on the size and of course on what you want to get. Initially when I moved to um, Budapest, well before I moved to Budapest, matter, matter of fact, um, I forgot how to spell. So if we do Semmelweis Housing, and that is one of the websites that many of you guys are familiar with probably by now, um, that is one of the websites that university provides for students to find their accommodation. I personally am not a fan, not sure how it is affiliated to the university, whether there's a percentage or anything like that, but as you can see, uh, prices here for the apartment are anywhere from 600 plus utilities, 500 plus utilities. Of course, it depends on you know, your budget. <laughs> if your budget allows you to have a three bedroom apartment for rent, I mean, it's up to you. But from uh, the students that have texted me so far and um, have asked me where to find an apartment. I know for many of you guys, the price is not as high. So maybe somewhere around 400 and 500 euros. And I can tell you it is possible. So here, for example, you can find studio. Very nice, actually. Um, 400 euros. Definitely utilities not included. So you have an entire little apartment, 27 square meters, District 7. Of course, everything does depend on the district that you live in, so don't forget that, just keep that in mind. So here you have, like, you know, a little bed, TV, pretty small, I wouldn't I wouldn't call it a big apartment, but it's a normal for a studio here in Budapest, so something to keep in mind that this price for a studio is very normal, with common cost that would come close to 500, I would say, depending on, of course, on your spendings per month because there's also like a common cost that usually varies around 10,000 uh, forints per month and then you would have an additional cost for water and electricity which of course differs depending on how much you spend and where you exactly you live. So another option that um, you can use, I wouldn't say that I necessarily recommend this one, I will explain my reasoning behind it, but here are some groups. So I have a bunch of them because of, you know, again, I was searching for an apartment everywhere. So you have Budapest short-term, long-term flat renting, you have flats and apartments for rent, so you can see 390 euro studio, very nice. Um, so this particular lady, I've met with her, she seems to be very nice. I don't know anyone who has rented from her, but I do know that her utilities, so like she asks you to pay 35k straight. Um, what I can tell you is that it is best if you can find an apartment for rent, which will, um, will kind of be, you know, based on the fact that you pay however much you spend. So she tells you to pay this amount. I remember I even asked her, like, is it like per spending? She goes like, no. Um, why I'm saying it's not a best option is because the problem with this is you are never gonna freaking spend 35k. I can tell you, I spend 
uh, so my common cost is 11,000 and then I spent about 6,000 on water and maybe a few thousand on electricity of course it depends like I'm just talking about it during school year but again if you're gonna be in school most of the time you don't you're you're never gonna spend this much you're gonna spend half of this and why would you pay extra for the shit you don't spend you know what I mean so like I wouldn't necessarily recommend that um I know I know she does it like this um I don't know necessarily what other people do so like you have to ask most of them do ask for a prepayment for utilities so most of them will charge you around thirty thousand. you most likely will never spend that much of course it depends on you like if you're very wasteful and like you keep all of the lights on in pretty much all of the rooms then yeah i guess that's something that you're gonna do um you can also here find sometimes people be like oh hey you know i'm a student here and i'm coming to budapest uh, I would like to have an all-inclusive friend and sometimes you can even post in those groups to find an apartment I've tried that didn't work for me all of the options that people would send me weren't great um, But the reason behind that also was because I was moving in January very terrible timing Most of the apartments are still booked by other students and people who live in the city. So not that great. So um these honestly are two main options i would recommend this website still they always have nice options it's very nice office that you go to uh you sign they co-sign with you so they, uh, they don't necessarily so you're never really gonna talk to this particular organization ever again however it's very nice in the sense that they do connect you to the owner so it's pretty easy it's pretty fast and then you know like you talk already to the owner on depending on how you want to um pay and everything else so for that i think this should summarize it all so facebook groups uh tower budapest of all the websites that i know uh, there are some other websites i've used them before i didn't find them very convenient this one so far is probably the best because of you know again you sort you find what you want you communicate with them and you get your apartment so with that uh i would like to finish this video and um, I will just show you a little bit about what apartment I live in right now. I wouldn't say I'm completely satisfied with it altogether, but it was nice for the time being that um, I had to move in January. I had to find a place right away. I didn't really have a choice because my rent was almost expiring. And for now, I'm fine here. I probably will move again maybe in a couple of years, but for now, uh, I'm very satisfied. It's a small studio, but for one person, honestly, more than enough plus you don't really have to clean much so that's something to keep in mind and uh, here's the video um so we'll do something a little different this time so recording through my phone which i usually never do and i uh, just wanted to show my new apartment and of course i will add a separate part where i explain how did i find the apartment um of course it's not perfect completely but i feel like for the price and for the location uh this is the best i could get so far maybe i will stay here maybe i won't we'll see in a year um so a little tour around the apartment so uh ceilings are pretty tall which i love absolutely um there's a nice window so like you get natural light um that's the heater right there so two chairs a little like area for eating so there's no an actual like dining area but it's fine um there's a tv it's a little couch um so there is no separation between the bedroom, which I actually don't mind, um, but it still feels like a one bedroom apartment. So I guess a nice coffee table would be lovely here, but maybe in the future we will get one. So um, some nice cabinets so I can put stuff in. Uh, there's plenty of space there. Um, actually that place is really cool. I just saw it and apparently you can store stuff here, which is amazing because you know, uh, I will have a lot of stuff. So this is a kitchen area, uh, not as big for my liking because I do prefer when there's enough space to cook. Uh, but it has an oven, which was like a very important thing for me when choosing an apartment. Of course, the washing machine, the fridge is right there. I will show it in a second. Uh, microwave, stove is very small, but I think it's good enough. Um, so the thingy works actually, which is very nice. <laughs> uh, plenty of space too. That, that. Um, there's a fridge. A small fridge, of course. I wish it was bigger, but you know, we can deal with this. I hope. 
Plus I'm living alone, so I don't think that's gonna be that big of a deal. Good. So I'm moving into the bed. I already bought the fitted sheet and I put it on for now. Of course, I'm gonna wash it later. And there's a pillow that I just bought, um, that for the blanket and the pillow. Uh, here's the desktop area, which is very nice for studying the, you know, the table is pretty big because the previous apartment I lived in was like, tiny. Uh, you can put like pictures there. Plenty of outlets, but I will need an extension cord, of course. Uh, what I do love also is that there's plenty of light, but not just like the both a natural and artificial and i love this one here too definitely plenty of flights nice the wardrobe is a part that i definitely like because it's big enough for me and my clothes so all the space here and then we have extra space here here uh, there's also this little corridor which is pretty nice i'm sharing it with another person and there's an extra door here 